Hi, thank you for joining me for the Cancer Terrascope for September. For you, September starts out with a bang because you have a brand new project, something that's going to put you forward in the world with a new image. Either that or you're just working on a new image and branding yourself differently in the universe. Um, so this could be the beginning of a project that has to do more with you personally than any kind of a job or anything like that. But it could also be something that you really pin your identity to. The second card is the Two of Pentacles, and this means that you're having to make choices. You're having to balance between one and the other. You're having to look at your income streams and look at your health, maybe, and balance that one against the other. It could be that you're trying to get a better work-life balance, but given that you're right next to the Ace of Wands, I'm going to say that it's a balance between how do you want to be seen and how do you want to function in the world. <clears throat> Excuse me. So there could be an aspect of your life, your personality, that was previously somewhat hidden from the world or you didn't talk about it a lot. Maybe it was very private. Maybe it was a religious or philosophical belief of some kind that you sort of kept um, just to yourself or to a small group. And now you're going to bring it out into the world. And you have to balance that maybe against a professional image or reputation that's already established. That would make sense to me. And the moon is here, so I think that there are some secrets that you're not going to let out. There are some things that you are still going to keep rather private. You know, sometimes I have this issue when people find out that I'm in a coven. They naturally assume now there's a negative uh, piece of my personality or of my work. The word is, you know, they're triggering. These words surrounding Wicca and, and such are very, very triggering for people. And the truth is, is that I'm the same person that I've always been, and I've always identified this way ever since I was a child. And I, there, you know, I don't eat babies or anything. I don't, you know, I don't dance naked under the moon. There are some that would do that. I don't do that. Um, I think the majority of people who do what I do are light workers. They're people who are trying to heal and help people. They're people who are trying to. Um, teach people about in, uh, raising their vibration and ascension. They're not people who are crazy and doing all sorts of evil things. Okay, so the moon is telling us then, even though you're bringing things out in the open, there are going to be quite a few things that you keep secret, and that's your prerogative. That's what you need to do, Cancer. This is also your card, Cancer. It's got the, it's got the crab right here at the bottom of the card. And it's, so, it's showing that you are a citizen of the world, but you don't have to expose every little thing about yourself in order to put your brand forward. And I think that's the very complicated message of this very first week in September for you, Cancer. And then we come to the second week. And in the second week, we start out with the Seven of Pentacles. And this is the card of waiting for your harvest to come in. So you've planted the seeds of whatever is going on. And I don't think it's this project. I think it's previous. I think it's from last month or months before. Because a harvest implies that it's something that has to grow from a seed. So it takes a while to grow. I mean, if we think in terms of agriculture, it usually takes about almost four months for something to come to maturation, maybe three months for or, or two months for some of the fast growing things. But it do, it's not a matter of weeks is my point. It's a matter of months. So this card encourages you to be patient and have faith that your, your ship will come in, your harvest will come to bear fruit or blossom, your, your, your um, gamble will pay off, but you have to have faith and patience. You have to wait. And then you have the King of Cups. Now this could be you, Cancer. You may be a person who's at the very top of their craft, of their industry. You may have worked very long and hard to achieve the position that you're in. 
You may be near retirement for that position because you've reached such a high level. Or you could be, um, you know, looking at moving on to another career. Kings very often indicate um, letting go and moving on. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the planet Saturn in the background here with the King of Cups. And Saturn is the ruler of time. So again, it could be time for you to move on to let go. Kings are a release. Kings, because you've reached that high level. So kings very often are the point in time where you say, well, I've done everything that I can do in this arena. Let me move on to the next thing. And then we have the chariot. So the chariot implies that you've set many things in motion and now they're kind of running away with you. Now you don't really have the choice of jumping off the boat. You know, you have to see it through. So I think you're going to be in there a little while longer. And even though you're anxious for your harvest to come in, maybe anxious even for this release to happen, you still have some things to, to take care of before any of this can, can be in play. So I think the second week is full of not frustration, but just you want to move on, but you can't, and you know you can't. So, you know, the second week is a week of waiting, and, you know, you're going to be busy. It's not like you're not doing anything. You're going to have all of the things that you set in motion with the chariot here to deal with. So you're going to be busy, but in the back of your mind, you're ready to move on. The third week brings some difficulty. There's some news that causes you some difficulty. You've got the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords means that there has been something that has ruptured, something that has changed in a relationship and caused it to rupture, uh, causing much disappointment. The rupture could be permanent. It could be something where the relationship actually ends, or the relationship could just go through a bad patch. The Five of Cups also indicates loss or grief or something that has ended that you're really, really sad about. But notice that behind this guy, and he almost looks like a knight, he's got two cups that are upright. So all is not lost. And this card, even though most people view it as grief, loss, and mourning, it's not the same as the Five Cups. The Five of Cups is an actual loss. The Three of Swords is a rupture in a relationship. So this probably means that you're going to have to work on something and, you know, deal with the loss. Now, could this be two separate things? Absolutely, it could be. But it also could be your feeling about a certain situation. Now, in the in terms of the king moving on, this could be sort of the cherry on the sundae. This could be what takes you over the edge and you say, you know what, I'm not even going to wait for this harvest to come in. I'm just going to go ahead and, and book. I'm just going to leave. But this is not the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is the card for actually leaving. This could just be informing decisions in your heart because we have the heart here, this could be just informing decisions in your heart that you're no longer going to invest in this situation. Something has hurt you, something has been lost, something has ruptured, and you need to deal with it. And in the meantime, you're still working very, very hard. So for both weeks two and weeks three, at the end of the weeks, we have these two cards that show that you're still very, very busy with this work very, very busy with keeping these things going. The Ten of Wands is an incredible burden, and the Chariot is a lot of things up in the air that you have to deal with. Not up in the air like they're uncertain, but just a lot of projects going on, a lot of work going on, a lot of things that you have to take care of. Now, could this rupture and this loss mean that, if this is a job situation, could this rupture and loss mean that other people leave the organization leaving you with more responsibility. Yes, it could. This absolutely could be the situation there. So the fourth week, then, we have the Queen of Cups. So you've got both the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Now, very often, when the King and Queen show up in the same reading, they're representing a couple, um, a, a united couple who are partners, either in business or marriage, who are there for you to lean on. But the Cups are water signs, and that's you, Cancer. So this could be you, the king or the queen, or both could be you. Now the queen is a woman, or a yin energy rather, that has reached a pretty high level, a very high level in her, in her craft, but not to the point of the king. So if you're moving back into the energy of the queen, it could be that you decide that you're going to stay in this organization. Oh, and then 
things happen very quickly. Then we have the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands means that just a lot of things are coming at you, just a ton of things are coming at you. But it's wand energy, and I want to point out that we started out with this Ace of Wands. So your heart really is with this Ace of Wands, whatever that is. And I, I, uh, Wands are identity. They're the way we put ourselves forward in the world. They're how we dress. They're how we, you know, wear our hair. They're the kind of car that we drive. The, the Ace of Wands is you reforming yourself, you putting yourself out there in a new way. So could it be that in this job, I'll say it's a job situation, you really feel like you've done as much as you can do in this arena and you're ready to move on, right? The chariot also is that energy of wanting to move on. However, you have a lot of irons in the fire and you have to do a lot of work. And then the Queen of Cups says, well, yes, okay, I'm resigning myself to the fact that I'm probably going to stay here and I'm okay with that. And then all of a sudden we get the Eight of Wands. So it comes back to the Wand energy and the Wand energy is action. So rather than staying put, you're going to take action. So I'm saying that now you're going to probably leave because now you have the king of wands. And the, this king, I'm really getting, this is the release. This is the ending. So I think this whole month of September, Cancer, is about you ending one situation and going to another because what you need to work on is your own brand, your own um, identity in the world and how the world sees you. It could be you're even thinking about your legacy in life. How do you? What legacy do you want to leave? How do you want people to remember you? And the King of Wands is saying, well, I don't want them to remember me about this situation. I want to move on and carve my own destiny, design my own own uh, uh, image and reputation so that the world sees me as that. All right, so that's the tarot cards. Now let's look at the oracle card. And the oracle cards that I'm using are the Kyle Gray with artwork by Lily Moses, Angels, and Ancestors. And the tarot cards that I'm using are ones that I don't have the box for anymore. It's the Gilded Tarot. It comes in the kit that says Easy Tarot. And they are easy. I really love them. Oh, we actually have two Oracle cards. Okay. Take, we have the Mirror Guardian. Take time to reflect. And then we have the Eagle, See from a Higher Perspective. Oh, isn't that nice? Okay, so let's read about both of these cards. So let's do the Mirror Guardian first. Take time to reflect. Take some time to reflect on your strengths and challenges and how far you've come. Recognize your gifts. Angels accept you just the way you are. Even when you are going through a challenging time, they still hold you in the highest esteem. The Mirror Guardian, an a, a female angel looking into the mirror of life, invites you to witness your spiritual strength and beauty, to see yourself as angels do. The, the mirror represents the fact that your core beliefs and ideas are in fact what is re reflected back to you by your world. Your life is one big mirror of how you feel within, and the Mirror Guardian helps you recognize that. When this card appears, you are being invited to take some time to see where you are right now. You are a beautiful being who has surmounted so many challenges and expanded in so many ways. Your angels are now guiding you to take inventory of your life, to take the time to note all of your recent experiences, the challenges you have surmounted, the strengths you have developed, and the lessons you have learned. Your angels want you to reflect on your strengths, in particular those aspects of yourself that you feel have not been acknowledged by others. Offer your self-approval where it's due, and know that when you give yourself credit, others will be able to as well. And then we have the eagle. This is for the eagle. Look at things from a different angle. Fly higher and see new possibilities. In animal medicine, both Native American and Celtic, the eagle draws his power and strength from the sun. He is a powerful, strong, and courageous guide who is able to see for miles. He approaches all things with intelligence, grace, and poise, and has the capacity to make a plan from a higher space before putting it into action. When the eagle card appears in a reading, it shows that you have a real ability to take things higher and to move beyond the limitations of your ego and selfish desires. 
Eagle medicine swirls around you, encouraging you to recognize that your views or vision may be limited at this time. Is there a chance that your own desperation, needs, or ego could be blocking you from seeing the potential in your current situation? If there are other people involved, you are being guided to see things from everyone's perspective. If you are feeling the need for something to change, how can you take the higher road? Know that if you have intentions that aren't for the highest good, it will only hold you back. Eagle medicine can help you change this. The eagle brings the energy of healing and love directly from the heart of Father Sky and invites you to do all things from a place of love. So these both, I think, really tie in to what's going on here, Cancer. You really do have something that you're, you're mulling over, and I know you want, you have the impetus to start this Ace of Wands image makeover, for lack of a better term, but you have things that you have to take care of first. And that's what I think the Oracle cards are really saying. Look deep within your heart, use this time to reflect and to see if this is the best thing to do and then if it is move on if if you do not like what you're seeing in the mirror change it as when you're ready to fully commit to this project but you're not you're you're not that you're wavering really i do think that circumstances are kind of keeping you held in place but the universe is giving you the opportunity to reflect before you make that move so that's what i have for you cancer Thank you so f much for watching till the end of the video. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate that. Every single one of you makes a difference to the channel. And every time you do a thumbs up or you, you tell a friend and they subscribe, it's just amazing for me. I am still reading tarot cards up at the New York Renaissance Fair. That runs from August 27th to October 9th. If you're in the New York area, it's at Tuxedo, New York. Um, and so if you go to my website, thepoolphone.com, there will be a pop-up that tells you all about the New York Renaissance Fair and how to get tickets. In addition, after the fair ends on October 9th, I'm doing two fairs the following weekend, October 15th and 16th in Northern New Jersey, if that's closer for you, and you can also come there to get a reading from me. On my website, thepoolphone.com, you can go to fairs after you go to the booking tab, and you can actually book your appointments for October 15th or 16th at those two fairs right on my website. For the Ren Fair, you have to actually come up to my booth, which is called The Cool Throne. I'm so excited that I get my own booth this year. And you can, make, you can just sit down and have a reading. I usually don't make appointments for that one. Uh, so, I will warn you that the fairs in New Jersey, very often I'm booked up for the whole day. So if you want to get in for a reading, you should make an appointment. Thank you so much for being a subscriber and thank you so much for watching the video. Have a wonderful month of September. I really hope everybody who's been in a heat wave is not in a heat wave in September. I hope it's a little cooler for everyone and take care and I'll see you next time.